Hi everyone, I'm Janet Hoffman and I write picture books. I'm the author of more than 40 books for children. My books are about animals and nature and also about amazing people whose stories have been lost to history. I have a new picture book out titled A Bobby Dazzler of a Pouch. It's about a little gray kangaroo who has trouble finding his mom's pouch in a mob. So he comes up with a creative idea that ends up turning his mom's pouch into a Bobby Dazzler, which means something fancy or snazzy. Since I can't be out and about right now doing story times, I made this video so I could read the book to you. As you can see, my kangaroos are going to be listening right along with all of you. A Bobby Dazzler of a Pouch, written by Janet Hoffman, pictures by Abira Das, and the publisher is Pennant Publications. In a forest clearing of Eastern Australia, a little gray kangaroo practiced diving into his mom's pouch. It seemed easy until he had to find it in a mob. Hop away into the tall grass, mom said, but come right away when I call. Joy kickboxed with a bush until he heard his mom's call. Boing, boing, boing. He died for the first pouch he saw. It belonged to another mother kangaroo and it was full. Let's try again, sighed mom. This time Joey played tag with his shadow until he heard his mom's call. Boing, boing, boing. He dove at a big male who didn't even have a pouch. I'll never be able to find mom's pouch, Joy groaned. Mom's nuzzles made Joy feel better. Soon a bird caught his attention. The busy bird's long wagging black tail gave Joy an idea. Could I please have some of your tail feathers, Joy asked. I want to put them on Mom's pouch like little flags, so we'll be easier to find. Bloody good idea, said Willie Wagtail, and right away offered four feathers. Willie Wagtail birds are very common in Australia. They often sit on the kangaroos' backs and hunt insects from there. No, no, no! You need something flashier, chattered Rainbow Larrakeet. Down floated several colorful feathers. Just then a kitten a while by, snuffling for ants. Shh, Mom whispered, or a kitten that will want to give us spines. What a pouch ouch that would be. Mom was too late. The kitten was already plucking prickle after prickle. Next, Father Emu and his family came by to offer their feathers. The excited chicks woke blue tongue skink, but only for a moment. In the Emu family, the father uh, Emu hatches the eggs and raises the chicks. Under the cool shade of a eucalyptus tree, the kangaroos sorted the pile of decorations. Which one do you think would work best, asked Mom. Let's use all of them, said Joy. Then no one will feel left out. Mom was proud of her son for being so caring. But oh my, what would her pouch look like? The two arranged and rearranged the gifts sticking nuts on echidna's spines to prevent pricks. By the time all was in place, the sun was setting. I wish we had more decorations, exclaimed Joy, 
climbing into the pouch for bedtime. More decorations? What decorations? asked Koala, waking up after sleeping all day. Shh, the baby is sleeping, whispered Mom, hoping to avoid more decorations. But Joey popped out. Right with joy, he told the story again. Now Koala wanted to help, and so did all the other nighttime animals. Koala found the leafiest eucalyptus branch and tossed it down to the ruse. Sugar gliders sailed through the air with sweet blossoms. Brush-tailed possum offered colorful mistletoe. This mistletoe looks very different than our holiday mistletoe, doesn't it? Wombat wobbled across the forest floor, dragging plunk roots. Under the moonlight, the kangaroos added the new gifts. Mom, now your pouch is a Bobby Dazzler, Joy exclaimed. He tumbled in and fell sound asleep. The next morning, Joey hopped away to play as his mom nibbled grass. There he goes. Before long, he heard her frantic call. She had spotted a dingle. Boing, boing, boing. Joey dove toward the decorations. In a flash, mom and baby bounded away. Boing, boing, boing. Joey was safe in Mom's Bobby Dazzler of a pouch, a gift from all of his forest friends. Thanks, mates. The end. And at the back of the book, there's a little author note. In real life, the kangaroo mother gives her Joey lessons in diving quickly into her pouch to escape danger. Just as in the story, the little Roo doesn't always choose the right pouch. And then there's a lot of fun kangaroo facts. More kangaroo facts. And then there's definitions of the Australian words in the book, like mates, which means friends. And there's definitions of all the Australian plants and animals that we see in the book. I hope you enjoyed my new story. You can find out more about me, my books, and where to buy them at my website. JanetHoffmanAuthor.com Happy reading, everyone!